So I just started a little propagation project tonight on my Peperomia Hope and I just realized I haven't uh, made a video in about uh, two weeks or so so I thought I'd just grab my camera and uh, show you what I'm doing. So uh, some of the new growth here that I'm getting is not looking uh, the healthiest. They're really kind of thin leaves and they're starting to kind of curl over and I'm not too sure why. So uh, this is getting a little long and leggy so I'm just going to actually snip it back and then I will show you how to propagate uh, by leaf cuttings. What I'm going to do uh, I'm just going to cut right above uh, one of these leaf nodes like that and you got a section of stem like this and it's tough to do <laughs> with one hand but I'll make do. Uh, you want to make sure that you cut just right at the stem as close as you can so that you get uh, the leaf and then the little uh, petiole as it's called. I'll see if I can zoom in. Uh, the little stem that's on the leaf, that's called a petiole. And you wanna make sure that you have uh, those two parts. So there with two hands, now I can finally cut the leaf and the petiole off. Set them aside and I'll simply just be placing them right into soil. I'll show you that in a second. I'll cut these ones back quite a bit as well actually. I'll snip it up here. So these peperomias, uh, they are more of a succulent type. So like I said, they have very thick leaves, which uh, they store water in them, uh, very similar to as <laughs> like a succulent would. Uh, they have these uh, uh, kind of water storing leaves. You don't have to water very often. Some of the other varieties of peperomia out there, they're quite uh, thin and fragile. They require a little bit more of a, uh, I guess, consistent care and uh, these ones you can leave for quite some time and not have to worry about it so i'm just gonna cut the rest of these leaves off i'll do it just after this leaf node hopefully it'll start to branch off from there again uh, this plant needs to be cleaned here as well so i'm going to set the branches off to the side i'll do this one too I will just finish pruning these off and then I will see um, which little leaves I should uh, take off the stem. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. So I have a number of stems here, which I will just uh, remove all the uh, kind of healthier leaves and then I'll set them aside into this pile and I'll kind of separate through them, plant them in this little pot and that should be it. So as you can see here, this is one of the newer leaves on the stem. Um, for some reason, it wasn't uh, developing properly, it kind of split. Uh, these ones here, again, they're pretty thin and and uh, not healthy looking. This one's completely folded over. And when I see a folded over leaf, I will always make sure that there's no webs or bugs or anything in there. It doesn't look like that's the case. There's nothing that I can see in there. Uh, you want to look for spider webs or other bugs that um, hide in these uh, curled leaves. So. I'm going to discard this section. Just cut that off right now. Get rid of that. Oh, pickles. What you doing there? <laughs> these leaves are really healthy, so I'll just cut all these ones off, just like that. Discard of the stem, and place these in my little collection. I don't know how many of these I'll be planting yet, but I'm just going to be kind of separating them and placing them to the side. Here's another healthy leaf. This one uh, looks really good. The rest, see, look at these. I don't know why they're coming in like that. It just literally just fell off right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not too sure why they aren't developing very well. I, I thought it was uh, contributing, or I thought the contributing factor was maybe a uh, lack of water or overwatering this. I've been kind of, I've been trying to kind of keep the watering schedule similar to a succulent, so I'll let the soil dry out completely, and then I'll give it some water. But um, still, getting these deformed leaves. Don't know why. I've actually missed making uh, videos. I've been camping for the last. Uh, a uh, few days and then I'd go back to work and then we'd camp again so I'm going to discard that one. So I've been pretty busy these last uh, couple weeks here but um, get back to making some videos. Got some holidays coming up here and we'll just be kind of sticking around home. 
Okay, so I filled this uh, terracotta pot up with uh, actually some succulent soil. I want something quick draining, something that doesn't hold on to moisture for too, too long, and that way it won't um, actually rot the leaves. So I'm gonna start, I think, just from the kind of outside and work my way in, and I'm just going to kind of lay the leaves just in the soil, kind of around the edges. So the roots will start to grow from here, and eventually it will push out an individual kind of stem, so it will create a new plant. I'm just gonna, like I said, uh, kind of work my way around, maybe bump these a little bit closer. I got quite a few. And uh, eventually you should see some new growth popping out. I did do this method for my Peperomia obtusifolia. It is rooted. Um, I'll have to do an update video with that one, but um, it is rooted, but it's been quite a while. Like I'm thinking probably five months or so. Um, I have taken it out of the pot. Like I said, it is rooted, but um, I am not seeing any new stem or new growth yet. I haven't pulled it out for a while, but so yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing a new stem on that one as well. Just gonna kind of slide these over a bit, sneak as many as I can in, so like that. Maybe I'll put some, I don't know, just in the middle. Just gonna jam them in there. Just lay them out like that. Um, I'm gonna water it here in a second. I'm not gonna soak it completely because it doesn't obviously need to. Uh, there is no roots down here. So uh, yeah, this is how I'm going to try and propagate my Peperomia Hope, see if it grows another plant. Uh, this one, it, uh, it's all trimmed up, ready to be put back. I gotta clean the leaves off. They're looking pretty dusty and dirty, but um, this is my little project. As soon as I see some progress, uh, which might be a few months, I will uh, make an update video with this, but I just want to make a quick video tonight. Like I said, I haven't made one for a while. I um, kind of miss making videos. So and yeah, uh, my channel continues to grow and yeah, it's crazy because it's almost, I'm a thing of about 600 people away, 600 subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So thanks to everyone for watching all my videos. Really appreciate all the support. And yeah, this is my little Pepperoni Hope propagation video from a leaf. Should also say this can be done in water as well, um, but unfortunately I don't have a container that is suitable enough for uh, placing these in water without having them uh, completely submerged. So uh, I'm going to do this soil uh, propagation leaf method. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Bye.